Okay, uh, <clears throat> apologies for my voice. I've been at a pottery fair all weekend talking to people, and uh, I'm one of the organisers of the fair, in, uh, the ceramics festival in Sheffield, and uh, there's a lot of talking to pe people to be done, and I don't normally talk working here in my own in my studio, so my voice is going <coughs> from uh, uh, talking to customers and staff. It was a fantastic show. Anyway, uh, here we are. This is the spout. I've just you've just seen me turn the lid and the bottom on this one. Just about to apply the spout. Spout has to be obviously technically wise, spout there has to be higher than the shoulder, otherwise if it's down here when you fill it up it's gonna run out. So that's that. I'm just working out if you're height up from behind you can see where you need to cut it off. So I'm just gonna cut that with a wire. These are a bit stiff because obviously being at the show this weekend I've had to put off um, put off finishing these. They've been un literally under wraps for about three or four days now so this is a bit stiff. Normally it's a bit softer than this but I'm use I use a wire. There we go. Pull it through. If you pull it through evenly. So I can't cut them with a knife, you never can get them quite even, but if you're pulling with a wire, like this, down, pull it evenly, you get quite a nice cut. Okay, so that's rubbish. Then what we do is, I hope you can see what's happening. I want to offer this up. I want, this is faceted, so what I need to do is figure out where the handle is going to come from, because obviously putting a handle on a, a join there makes it a little bit more difficult, and I want it a bit more easy to do. So I pick a nice place for the handle. We go to the opposite side. Sometimes you've got a facet that matches up. Sometimes you haven't. And there's the teapot going on there. There's the spout going on there. So we just. Use a tool, mark it off roughly. That's where it's going to go with. What I do then is we smooth out the edge of this. You can cut it, but I just use my fingers. And it's a bit hard, this, so what I'm going to do is dip it in the water. Okay, and just put it to one side for a bit and that'll soften up while we cut the holes. This is the question of cutting the holes in this area. I put one in the centre. This is a hole cutter, it's a little circular, uh, half circular tool. And we just pierce it. Try and get a pleasant pattern. Right, that's it scored. What I've got here is some slip. It's got uh, vinegar in it. Makes it stick better. Or better, better, better. <laughs> I know it'll look a different color because it is, it's got iron in this, but you'll not see it at the end of the day. This has softened up nicely now, you can see that's a lot softer. Because it's a lot softer we don't need to apply, so well, I don't apply slip to this part. It's just a question of eyeing it up level. I like to get this bit ready at near the top of there. And that's the spout going on, it's just a question of pressing it into place. Start to smooth it in. I'm trying to do this for the camera for you, but I don't normally hold it in this position when I'm doing it, but doing it for the camera. The question is smoothing it in. It's always good to have the body fit quite firm for this part. Because obviously you can collapse it if it's too soft. Let's 
can use the end of this paintbrush. See the spout is well above the, the height of the lid, so you can fill it up and it's not going to run out. At this point I would use a sponge, but I can't find one. <coughs> so I'll just use my finger for now. So that's that bit done. A little bit of finesse with a sponge, smoothing everything off, but that's how the spout goes on. And then uh, I've got another half a dozen of these to do, and then we'll move on to filming the, the handle part. And so far, so good. Okay, I'm just going to um, apply one of these handles to it. I've cut the handle off at a slight angle. I'm just going to open it out with the knuckle on my thumb, you can use a tool if you want, score it and apply some slip what I said in the last video about making them wider here and then narrower is it gives you a nice base to put on base of the handle plus it stops it, if you put it on straight from there once you've scooped, smoothed it in, it goes narrow and it looks mean at the, at the, at the top there, and like a generous top. So uh, I've already scored there. What I did was I put the lid on, pointer there, lid, knob, find where the back of the handle is. And it's just a question of pressing it on until it bites. doing this with my left hand for for the camera it should um, so bear with me if I'm a bit hand fisted we just smooth it in as you can see there it's it's a nice wide base to it it gives it more uh, a more a, a wider area to stick it on so it doesn't fall off plus it gives it it lets it spring out of the of the pot looks like it's growing out of a pot like a um, like a the limb of a tree, really. That's what I like to think about. I had it described to me as that bit, uh, by someone in the past. And because I cut it off at a slight angle, it springs up a little bit. If it just comes straight out, it looks okay on some teapots, just having a, just a, a semicircle handle. It works with the design, but with this pot here, I like it to sort of uh, spring out from the pot a little bit. And uh, that's the way we do it. It's just a question of wetting the handle. I'm letting it fall. Same again, I usually do this towards me, but my arm's in the way, so I'm going to do it the other way for you. it's not too big you just press it on snap the bottom off and it's just a question of wiping it on there <coughs> on my sponge what I like to do after this, once it's once it's uh, settled a little bit, I will put a little roll of clay in there, just so that a crack won't run through. If you give a chance, give clay a chance to crack, it will crack. And uh, that's it. There's the handle on. Also, I try and 
get the inside shape right and then the outside shape will follow if you've pulled the handle right in a nice shape if you get the inside right then the outside will follow it's just a question of putting the stamp at the bottom there that does two things when it puts your name on it but also it gives a little bit more uh, adhesion for the handle so there's that little tiny bit of clay that goes in there once it's dried a little bit more curve the spring into the top of the handle and that's the teapot finished bit of fettling to be done but I'll not bore you with that that's it done